Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be making Dead Fred's Corn. And I have no idea who Fred is. And this recipe came from a lady that I used to work for at a daycare quite a few years ago. And uh, she is a joy. I love, I love, love, love her. Um, so I asked her for the recipe and she gave it to me and I thought I'd share it with you guys It's really simple and it tastes really great so first off I Set the uh, oven for 350 That's the first thing I did you're going to need four cans of this steam fresh white chill peg corn um, there's not much juice in them, so I drained one and figured there's not much juice, so I just left the juice in them. But these are those little 11-ounce uh, cans, and it's the white shoe pig corn. Four of those, a half a stick of butter, eight ounces of cream cheese, an onion. I'm using a sweet onion, and I'll probably only use half of this and a little jalapeno. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get these cut up, cut my onion, and like I said, I'll probably only use half of this. And this is a sweet onion, it's just a medium size. cheese first. I don't know if that'd be easier to put in. This is softened. I left it out for a little while. So I'm going to throw that in. This is softened as well. I left it out. That would be a nightmare. Okay. So we got our cream cheese, our onions, and our little jalapenos. As you can see, there wasn't much juice in them at all. 
So we'll mix this all up. Whoop! I got some runaways here. Mix it all together. Make sure I get my pan here. I am going to spray it a little bit. Just a tad, you never know. All right. And like I said, um, this is called Dead Fred's Corn, and I have no idea, like I said, who Fred is or anything. This is just a recipe that um, my boss used, with, that I worked for at daycare. She would make this, and oh, it was just so good. So I got the recipe from her. I think that will melt in, I hope. So let's pour it in our pan. Okay, so I got it in my nine by 13 pan. Um, I did spray it a little bit and I'm just kind of mashing down those chunks of cream cheese and butter, but it's not gonna be perfect, but this is what it looks like. We're gonna stick it in the oven uh, for, on 350 just until it warms through. So you're not really cooking anything, you're just kind of melting the butter and melting the cream cheese. And I'll be back to show ya. Okay guys, so I left it in about 20 minutes. It's nice and hot. Um, it's really nice and soupy with that butter and cream cheese. I put a little bit of just pepper on it. Just to make it a little pretty um, but it smells so good and the flavor is unreal guys you've got to try this um, like I said uh, I got it from when I used to work at daycare I got it from my boss she used to make it and it was so good and so this video is dedicated to her and I love her very much she's a great great woman Give me a like on this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I love having new people. And um, let me know in the comments below if you've made this or you intend to make it. Let me know what you think. Also, let me know what you would like to see me make. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great, great day.